Hello everyone. I am Mr. S. Devendra Prabhu, Assistant Professor, Department of Commerce, KSR College of Arts and Science for Japan. Now we are going to discuss for this video fire and marine insurance. The first one is fire insurance. Fire insurance provisions against losses caused by fire, lightning and the removal of the property from the premises uh, engaged by the fire. The insurer agrees for a fee to reimburse the insured in the event of the such an of an occurrence. For example, I am the businessman. I am getting a fire insurance for the particular amount. Suppose the, with the fire accident, something will be happen for unexpected losses. As a businessman, you can able to claim the particular amount from the insurance company. So that is called the fire insurance. This damages occurs only by the fire. Then only you can able to claim. Otherwise, we can't claim. That is called the fire insurance. The first, then second one is uh, settlement of the claim. The settlement of claim means all activities of the insurer or its agent, which are related directly or indirectly to the determination of the compensation. That is the due under coverage afforded by the insurance policy or insurance contract. This includes, but is not limited to the recurring or preparing the repairs estimates. For example, I am the businessman, I am having some good own or any manufacturing industry. I take an insurance for fire insurance for 10 lakh per annum. Suppose the problem will happen for my losses will be happen uh, above the 10 lakh, but I eligible to able claim only for near the 10 lakh. Within the 10 lakh, suppose we have damage will happen, I am able to claim. So otherwise we can't claim, they exceed the limit, we can't able to claim the settlement. So that is called the settlement of claims. Then second one is uh, marine insurance. We know marine insurance. Suppose we are sending the uh, goods to the other country or anywhere to the world, that time we can take on marine insurance for our uh, goods. So that is called that marine insurance. So marine insurance covers the physical loss or damage of ship, cargo, terminals, and any transport by the property transferred occupied or held between the points of origin of the final destination. For example, I am the businessman. I am doing the import and export activities. Suppose my product, I have to uh, send the abroad through the ship or cargo. I will take the marine insurance. Compulsory, if I export any product to the any other country, first of all, as a businessman, I take a marine insurance. Then only the customs allow our product to the ship or cargo. So that time for uh, any unexpected losses will be happen for my product, I can easily able the claim to the insurance company for my damageable or uh, lost out goods. So that is called the marine insurance. The next one is the types of the marine insurance. Then first one is the freight insurance, liability insurance, hull insurance, marine cargo insurance. The first one is freight insurance. In freight insurance, for example, if the goods are damaged, in transit, the operator would lose the freight receivable, so the insurance will be provided on the compensation for the lost freight. Supports on ongoing process, the goods will be ongoing uh, at the midway of the ocean, the cargo will be going on for uh, traveling. At the time, if any insurance, uh, if, if any losses will be occurred, we can able to the insurance, so that is called the freight insurance. The next one is liability insurance. The marine liability insurance is where compensation is brought to provide any liability occurring on account of the ship, the crashing or scalding. So anything uh, ship will be or unexpected things will be happen in my ship or cargo, the product will be totally damaged or losses will be happen. That time we can able to uh, claim their li liability for the insurance company. The next one is the hull insurance. The hull insurance covers the hull and the store of the transportation vehicle. It covers the transportation against the damage and the accidents. Suppose any damages or accidents will be happen in our product that can, that time we are able to the hull insurance. We can claim easily. The next one is marine cargo insurance. The marine cargo policy refers to the insurance of the goods dispatched from the country of the origin to the country of destination. Suppose the marine cargo insurance, suppose uh, in our goods for uh, uh, departure from our country in India, suppose anything uh, 
unexpected things or losses will be happen to the new, new, new origin of the country we can able to claim the cargo insurance so thank you for watching video thank you